Hey everybody, it's Quicken and I'm in my lovely neighborhood. Um, about to head into Center City and get some stuff done. Some stuff I've been dying to get done. Um, I've been looking for knobs and Home Depot closed last night at like six o'clock. So couldn't get knobs at Depot. So I'm gonna head to Marshall's. I really wanna buy them like as cheap as possible. I wanna like find something great. A little diamond in the rough. Hit up Marshall's. Holly said Marshall's had knobs. It's hard to call people on the phone and ask if they have knobs. Cause you never, you can't look on Marshall's website to see what they have. You can't call them and be like, do you have knobs? <laughs> and I'd love to go to Ulta too, Mad Concealer. If you can tell about how I look. Um, I was gonna go no makeup today and then had a cat eye inspiration mid no makeup. Also, NYX has like a um, like Anastasia eyebrow dupe pencil that I really want to check out because I have a MAC eyebrow pencil and it's too dusty. People hate me. So that should be cool. So hope you're into shopping with me. Helicopter? Can you see me? But check out this shirt here. And I have a, a camo utility bag. I love this bag. So this is Old City and you can kind of see the Ben Franklin Bridge right in the background which is pretty cool. Um, I feel like this part of the city kind of reminds me of like Brooklyn or like a really cool space. Just like all this like really nice living here. And Old City also has First Friday, so it has like a ton of art galleries and things like that. It's a pretty fun part of the city. Here's all the cobblestone. And when I was a model for 20 seconds, I actually had a photo shoot right here. Um, I'll have to include a photo because those were classic. A little part of Old City, little wood art gallery and they did the whole side of the building like that super cool very nice got the uh fire escapes coming off the buildings there really nice i wish i could live in old city hoverboard spotting so over there is the liberty bell uh you go through this section over here and then he's all the way in the back and there's like information that you like walk through to see it. It's free if you ever want to come. Uh, here's where the Pope spoke. That was pretty rad. So the Pope was over there. And uh, here's more like a giant field. I think like people protest here sometimes. Um, for me, this is where the mega bus stop is. So. This is where I'll wait when I go to New York or wherever. They put a La Colum in this uh, like building. I don't know what this building is, but La Colum is my jam. And like, you can see some people right here waiting for the Megabus. So it is such a blessing that La Colum is right there because you used to have to go to Duncan if you wanted to wait for your Megabus. There's like the Megabus sign. Love you, Megabus, hi. We're probably like three, no, like five blocks from Marshall's. You can see this big billboard up here. It like caused a lot of controversy. Easy New Jersey transit. So it caused a lot of controversy when they uh, installed it here because everyone's like, Philly's not New York. Philly's not New York. I mean, it's not. But here it is. It's like our biggest, craziest billboard in the whole city. And it's like, a couple blocks down, there's the Megabus. It's like a couple blocks down from true center city, so no one even sees it down here. Here's like a better view. It's just like a giant TV. Microsoft Surface. No one's gonna buy that. So John's mom was telling me about this parking lot. It's like a pretty 
strange parking lot to have in Center City, but honestly, who cares? So she told me there used to be a giant building right here, and when they demolished it, they just let all the debris fall into the, I guess the basement or lower parking lot of the structure and then paved over it. And because of that, it's um, too unsafe to build on top of. And you can see it's like really wobbly and curvy and very unlevel. So there's a little Philadelphia relic for you. Uh, we tore down a building and then paved over top of it. And you just absolutely can't do that. And now it's unsafe to build on. And you can see like the previous structure where the building used to be connected to. So go Philly. So here's some like budget ass electronic stores in this weird building that like looks like a skate park. It's crazier from the other side of the street, but whatever it used to be, all these buildings are closed down. And then here's our Marshalls, oh my god. Doesn't look too bad. which I really like and John and I will have to get for our cabinets because in our kitchen plans there was only like four cabinets. This could be cool. So they have all these like wood accessories and I think this is really cool. It's $14.99 but it like has little feet and it could just like sit on your coffee table. Especially if you have like a basic ass coffee table. This could be really cool. Like, that could be cute to like throw jewelry into. I like this one better than that one. Here's what we came for. But I need five knobs. Hopefully they have these in another place. There's no matching sets. So I grabbed some drawer organizers. I had to like sit on the floor to find them, but they're $2.99 each and they each come with three. Well, that one comes with two, but these should be really cool. It's a great place to get those like acrylic jewelry organizers or like makeup organizers. I thought this was cute, but it's kind of expensive for what it is. I'm getting this for John for Christmas. No excuses. They have a ton of reusable <laughs> mugs and like mason jars. And they have those like copper mugs. But they're $19 here. I'm glad I got ours for 50 cents. Ooh. We like that price. I had to get a cart. But there are a lot of people here, so I was confused. I still haven't found more knobs, but now we're in the picture frame section, which is my favorite. I don't know what my obsession is. You could just buy this as a decoration. Like, you don't even have to do anything with this. That's pretty cool. Tons of marquee letters. This is fake, but it's pretty cute. All of these. Nine ninety nine is really fair. Andy, to the second floor for the room, please. Gary, register at the second floor. Andy, second floor dressing room, please. Gary, register. Oh, this is a cute find. Second floor, thank you. The clearance section, and this owl is so cute but it's for a kitchen, which I don't have. This is kind of badass, but I don't think it's on sale. I think it's just here. There's like an inspiring clipboard if you have like a health inspector in your life. Excuse 
Excuse me. Bunch of decorative boxes. You hear, you see a lot of people get these boxes on the gram and wherever. None of these are really doing it for me though. Plenty of Christmas stuff, but no knobs yet. Knobs are a dying thing. Oh, I love this inspirational art. <laughs> Marshall. Isn't that copyrighted? Who is she? We must appease her. This is cool. For Christmas. Or basicness. Here's 5,000 of these. Oh, I love cursive. And Marilyn Monroe quotes. Classic. Oh, do all things with love. You gotta get that one in there. Oh, here's one. Strange men smile at me all the time. This poster reminds me of hardship. Some Star Wars and a clock. I like this clock, but I don't like the paper middle. Superman. I like this mirror, but couldn't take that on the L. This is really hard to read. Live. Ugh. No. Some more intense Star Wars decor. Yeah, Hustle is my middle name. Thanks, Joy Kelly. Creepy. Stupid. Perfect. What? So dumb. Oh, I like that Merry Christmas one. I wish I had a house to decorate. Oh, $6.99. This one's cool too. It says like Merry Christmas and you can put your little picture in there. Be fabulous today. This one. Family. Always. Festival. These are so dumb. done. What? What? Yo, that's scary. These are done. I'm not reading that. I like that one not copyrighted to say that so everyone's been saying it. Yeah. I use it for YouTube. Oh, thank you, you too. My cart update. I thought my pop would like this. It looks just like me. I got these. Um, I've never seen anything like it before. It comes with three. I don't need all three, but I need one of my mom. So this year on my list, I wanted to get my grandma a, an adult coloring book, which is hard to Google, believe me. And this one, I found one here. She's gonna love this shit. So then I got her two, and this just like, is like really cool. This says that. That's rad. She's gonna go berserk. She's gonna lose her mind. I got some stationery. Because you know how she is. And yeah, I put those in my cart. They're not for me though.
I know my mom wants one of these like five times zoom mirrors for Christmas, but they're like I had one once and it made me so self-conscious that I had to throw it out So I know that it's like a terrible present, but like also a very good one, but like <laughs> I should do it. I have so much stuff in my cart. Oh well. Sorry, Mom, YOLO. I should probably get myself one too for YouTube. It's so hard to make those makeup videos. I don't know. Let me think about it for 40 minutes. I'm a bad person. I just said that one of these ruined my life. Put it in the cart. Ooh, that shower rat is funky. Uh, we have a Roman shower, so no shower curtains, sad face. I love shower curtains. I want to get, for our, our new house, I want to get one of the shower curtains that has, like, um, storage in it. They might not have those at Marshalls yet. They're pretty high tech. Or they don't exist, and I made it up. Either way, that's on my list. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so nice. What size are you? Oh, it's queen. It's my size. Oh my god, girls. Okay, this is my cart, and I seriously only came here for drawer pulls, and they don't even have them. John works in this neighborhood, though, so I'm going to catch him, and we're going to go to Lowe's. I have a Christmas present for him, so hopefully I can just, like, conceal it. Honestly, I have so much stuff. Um... Let me know if you guys want like a Christmas uh, gift guide because look at all this stuff. I still have to go to Ulta. This is for real my bag. I came to 178. <laughs> so I had a ton of other things I wanted to do today, but obviously I have this giant Marshalls bag and then a tote bag, which I foolishly thought would be enough. I shouldn't have gone Christmas shopping, but Livia got hers out of the way so early this year that I felt really inspired to do the same. And I could do a holiday gift guide, which would be super cool, but this is like killing me. It's huge. And I was hoping to be like independent woman today, but now I have to meet John anyway. So whatever. I really want knobs though. And it seems like such a stupid thing to be searching for, but I have this like furniture upgrade video that I really want to complete and I feel like it would be the last. Wow, that's really good. Last little piece that I would need to finish for my video. So I'm eager to get it done. And if I hang out with John today, then we can work on the house, which is great because I didn't go on Sunday because I am shitty and lazy. This guy's interested. But it sucks. I wanted to go to Ulta and I wanted to see Holly and I wanted to visit Brie at work. And I literally didn't do any of that stuff. Okay, so we went to Lowe's and I actually got a ton of knobs. Wow, so excited to have knobs in my life. So now we're back at our house because we also got a couple like drywall things that we needed and here's a little house update. Here's the ceiling all drywalled in this room. Okay! And here's this wall right here and then right behind me is this room and this is like our guest room but we were talking about making this like just a second like chill living room space with like probably like a fold out bed or something so it could be a guest space but also like have function to it so here's my Lowe's haul here's like some drywall tape I don't know anything about this just that I think it was like $12 here's some spray adhesive and it's not for any like YouTube DIY, it's for like um, drywall stuff. And here are my knobs. 
So these were $2.65 each. And all these knobs came to like $10. That doesn't sound right. Whatever. So John picked out these like really basic knobs. And then the knobs I picked out are like pretty cute. They're like clear like that. Then have like bronzed hardware. I just had to decide which cabinet like goes where, like if I want the bathroom drawers to be hot fire or the bedroom ones. But that's it. And I'm glad we got knobs from there because I feel like most drawers have four, but ours have five, so it was really difficult to find a five pack of knobs. Oh wow, I sound like such an adult. Um, but yeah, so here's a little mini tour of the house so far. Um, so this side of the wall is like this old plaster that was original to the house. I think John is gonna like fill in these spaces up there. Here's my space heater, our neighbor gave it to us. Here's my soy milk. So we were, not ever, but I asked John about having exposed brick like in some parts of the house but like up here, like leaving it that way or like having it in the bathroom, like some exposed brick, like right there. But John said his neighbor did expose brick in her house and she like, like all that there. She has a really hard time with like, like, noise barriers and things like that because she can hear like everything we do so if we were to have exposed brick and then she have exposed brick that brick would be the only thing in between us and because this house next door um is abandoned it's just not like a really smart move for us to leave the exposed brick because if it gets really cold in that house then we'll be doing all this extra money to heat our house or whatever Exposed brick's like really cool, but it's not like super functional in our house and in our neighborhood and whatever. I thought it would be really cool and I still daydream about it, but I also, I want to be a practical homeowner. So John framed the closet. So let's check out what the closet looks like. scary so this should be cool it goes up really high which I guess is like pretty unique and like we'll have a bar going across um Livy and I are supposed to go to the container store so I think I'll have like a better idea of what we're gonna do in here I'm sure John has installed like plenty of like Ikea closets and like container store closets I'm hoping to like have a lot of functionality in there to get the best use of our space. Um, the closet was originally supposed to be smaller and our bathroom was supposed to be larger, but one of John's friends came over and was like, dude, why is your bathroom that big? So he, he uh, extended the closet.